Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, we are live on Twitch today. Um, so I'm going to be trying to stream a bit more live now. Um, as well, I am trying out a new mic setup. So let me know if you find the video, qu uh, sorry, the audio quality any better. Uh, I'm trying to avoid some of the breathing sounds that were coming that some of you have commented on. So just uh, testing it out for this one. I'm um, going to have to see with some of the playbacks how it works out. Uh, so today we're going to be playing the weekend uh, event, the Ravnica Guild Battle. This is part of the Plaincations event. So here we're looking at playing a couple decks that are pre-built. Uh, so everybody's on the same kind of balanced field um, with the ultimate prize of getting the Unhinged Forest. So this is a basic land. So it's a full art basic land, which is one of the more desirable ones in paper. Um, before we get started though, there is a promo uh, as part of the Mythic Championship. It's uh, B-I-N-G-O-I-V Mythic Champ. So that'll get you a free pack of M20. So thought we'd share that there. We'll claim our pack, see what we get, and then we'll jam some games of this uh, new event. Temple Epiphany, pretty good rare. Um, this will be one of probably the more premier uh, lands along with the Shock lands post-rotation. Um, so we'll continue on. Um, so we're going to play this event. Uh, so you can play any of these kind of pre-built decks in this format. So um, our daily is black-red, so we'll probably start off with one of those. I'm probably gearing between either Cult of Rakdos or Is It Leak. Um, two of my kind of preferred ones to go with. Um, so the Is It League one, what I like about it is it's got a good amount of removal in it. We have Shock and Lava Coil, a Direct Current as well. Um, and then you're pretty much playing almost like an Is It Drake style deck. Both the Crackling Drakes and Niv Mizzet are a good way to close out the game pretty quickly. Uh, we have Expansion, Thousand Year Storm's a little slow. But overall, you got evasive threats and then uh, some pretty good removal. So I'm probably going to try this one out first. Alternatively, we have the Rakdos. So you get one Dreadhorde Butcher, some early threats. Uh, you do get a Bedevil, a couple Skewers, and light up the stage. Uh, so this is another kind of reasonable, uh, aggressive deck. Um, but I like Misa Mizzet, so we're going to start off with that. Uh, we'll try to feature a couple of these, seeing how the gameplay goes. So let's start with this. Is it League? So for those of you who are tuning in at any point during the Twitch stream, um, all my videos are available afterwards on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Um, we do do some standalone videos when I can't uh, stream live. That'll be featured there as well. Um, probably try this out. Fields, and then once we draw spells, we have all the payoff stuff. I really don't know what this format's like, so we'll try it out. Yeah, so for those tuning in live, uh, I am MTG Joe. I do most of my content on YouTube right now, but I'm going to be expanding to do live stream. I uh, play a variety of decks on the channel. Um, what I like to do is a budget build series uh, that is something I've been doing a lot on the arena subreddit. Uh, we take a deck completely of commons on commons and then I build three variations with kind of a guide on how to do that. Um, so that was previously featured on uh, Reddit. I am now an Aetherhub uh, content creator so all my articles will be there. If you want to check out I've done uh, part one of a series on a bunch of decks that are rotation proof in the sense that they only contain cards from the recent set that will survive this next rotation. So we're going to lead on the field here just so then our spells become useful and ping them. Um, so that's there. Part two will be up in the next couple days. I have all the decks done. I just need to do the write-up. But generally on the channel I like to play a bit of everything. I'm not super super tier one spike competitive although I do play the lists on the channel. Um, more about having fun and more instructional, kind of how to play the game, thought processes, stuff like that. This feels kind of like a bait attack, so I'm just going to take the damage this turn. Having the field down has more utility to us. 
Another land is good. I'm just gonna get rid of the Zerta here. What do you do? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, it gets plus X O where X is that spell's converted mana cost. So if they have like a pump spell here, they may want to try to save it. But if they're doing that as a defensive measure, beneficial to us. Yep, they use a giant growth. So giant growth will bring it up to six. Just kill it here. So we kind of two for two there, but we get their threat off the board and then we can untap and play Murmuring Mystic next turn. Okay, so drawing the wrong color lands to cast Niv. Ideally with like some action spells. Uh, for those tuning in live, if you wouldn't mind just letting me know how the audio is. Um, if you, any, if it's kind of low, any muffles, anything like that that you're hearing. I'm just trying out a new mic, so I'm just interested in hearing some feedback. Can't be blocked by token creatures. Uh, we'll just go Dragonauts here. And no attacks. Um, I'm just going to take the attack here. There's nothing really uh, advantageous for us to do, like to block. As soon as we can get a spell, we can kind of go off. This will get powered up. We get tokens from this, and it pings damage. Uh, instead, we just get a bunch of awkwardness. We've drawn all the top end of this deck. It's a big blocker. I'm, in I'm interested to see how these events play out. We're getting more and more that are kind of these free to play with cosmetic rewards. Um, as long as they're like interesting, there's gonna be that like custom standard league that's coming out where it's uh, kind of a banned cards in a sense just for this tournament. Uh, so like Teferi's banned, a couple other cards. Uh, so it's interesting to see how that kind of plays out and just to shake up the format. Okay, so you get XX. Just save our life here. Okay, well, got a thousand year storm. Just nothing to storm off into. It's a cool animation. So, so do the same blocks. So they did have a burn spell this go around. Haven't been able to cast anything here. The evasion's been nice, but really just want an island. An island opens up Crackling Drake. 
be two power, but ho likely cycles us into either another line for Niv. Just trying to hold out, keep our life total high enough here. So they use the Collision Colossus. That hurts a bit. We're dead on this one. Missing out on blue cards hurts. So cool thing is you just keep playing this event. Doesn't matter win or loss. We'll run this one again and then we'll switch up the decks. Haven't played with Niv in a while, so wanted to go back to one of my old favorite cards from uh, when Ravnica dropped. Keep this hand. This is a very good hand. So, early removal, radical ideas, card draw. Alright. So, we'll probably just cycle the radical idea at the end step. Actually, pretty advantageous they played that now to not kill our Dragonauts. Alright. So depending on how aggressive they get, I might just take another turn to set up Murmuring Mystic, because then all our spells become a lot more useful. Guild gate, no blocks here. Um, I think we just hit in. We can block the three. Next turn, we have the option of actually playing all three spells. Okay, so. Not playing around the combat tricks, probably not the best. Um, let's see. So we can go Lava Coil here. Shock here. Cycle the Radical idea. Hit him for seven. That turn would have been a lot better with the Murmuring Mystic out. They get back the Harpooner. So we need to hold up the Shock, so as they fight, we kill it in response. Um, just attack in here. Welcome to those tuning in live. Where are you from? Always curious to see where viewers are coming from. Also, let me know how the audio is, if you wouldn't mind. Trying out a new mic setup. So let's kill this in response. Okay, crackles is a nice draw here. Another land. Um. 
think we just hold back here. Thanks a thousand bees. Just trying to play around with the setup. Block here, block here. That helps him in the race a bit. Uh, hopefully Augur helps us draw into something else. Lava coil's nice. Um, so we can coil this, probably makes the most sense. It's the biggest body. They hit us for two, even if they hit us for four, we're still alive. This puts them dead in the event that we draw any sort of like spell. Otherwise we just set up a thousand year storm. Without a lot of cantrips in this deck, it's kind of weak. So no removal there, opting to block the non-death touch. Oh, this has lifelink. Should have killed that, thought it was just death touch. Second Wii Dragonauts. So we're probably just gonna block here, block here. Another bolt would probably be okay. They get a land. What do you do? You draw a card and copy instance or sorceries. No attacks here. Probably gonna take the two damage. Wanna use this to draw a card? Oh, we're just dead. Cool. Let's change up the decks a bit. Um, let's go the Rakdos one. Play a little bit more of an aggressive game plan. Uh, we could Footlight into Cult Guild Mage, Skewer. What do you do? Target player discards a card, deals a damage. We'll try it out. I think we still play. Oh, that makes it a lot easier, our decision. Play out the Footlight first. Play out the Guild Mage next. And then we have Skewer potentially online. Target player doesn't untap. Creature, Surveil. No attacks. So they have campaign here. Gonna want to kill this now because if they could get that surveil engine going, it's quite good. So we'll do this. If they block, then they get to trade. If not, we turn on skewer for a reduced cost.
and then we can activate this on the opponent's end step. It's a little unfortunate. They get the campaign back. Ping our opponent here. So we're going to lose a land. But if they're spending their turn tapping out for campaign, we get to advance our board. So they have the scorn. They have the multi spell there. Go aggressive here. Demir probably has more tools for a long game. So when it deals combat damage to player, XL, target creature that player controls, put a hit counter on that card, that player loses game. If three or more, shuffle it back and that can surveil back. So no attacks. You can have this block a, a charta and then these can start pinging for one each turn. This not be oh can't be blocked. Oops, should have attacked in then. Well, that does get shuffled into the library, so at least that's gone for the turn. Activate the ability, ping for one. Interesting they didn't campaign here. They may have removal. Uh, also not the best. So we'll just deal the damage there. They could have played campaign as well. This deck synergizes really well. There's a little too many odds and ends. Like this wants you to discard. See if they want to trade for a block here. Just pass the turn. So they do hit themselves for two here. When they if they cast the campaign again, I'll shock them in response to the discard. Now, I know, I think we've used two skewers. Uh, that having lifelink can start changing the math.
so pretty good tempo play. They get us to discard. So in a roundabout way, they get ahead there. Now they can start tapping. They got it. They can either tap whatever creature we have or... All right, let's try out a different one. Claim the prize here. Uh, what are you, what's in you? Bunch of dorks, tokens. Let's try out some Selesnia. Try to get a win the rate we're going today. Um, can go Amara, go first. Would have preferred, obviously, if it was untapped that we could have played. Even if we had drawn that. Alright, so they're on Orzhov. Pitless Pontiff. Let's see if they take the block here. They don't. I want to hit my line drops here. Uh, I feel like we need more forests. Second pitless pont lift. gonna do this because they either need to sack for it to live or so now we have a clean attack in so same idea they can block there we just play this Oh, they don't, which is even better for us. Kind of an aggressive attack by the opponent. I don't really care if this dies now because we just get more bodies. Plus the Vigilance is really nice. Next turn, this can just fight Pitless Pontliff. See if they attack in again. Opponent's seen enough. Cool. Got a pack. Let's see what we crack. Drag a suit set uh, for the reanimator shells. We'll test out one more deck just to demo it. Um, let's go, what's in Simic? Probably counter-themed, you got a Krasis as the top end, Pteramander, Zagana, Sharko Crab. Yeah, let's try this out. I used to always force Simic in those drafts. Evasive flyers that get bigger is always something that's interesting to look at. So we have the guild mage that can move around counters. 
Just this on two looks nice. We'll keep this. Lead with the island. So them having black cards is a little annoying. Likely have some form of removal. That's not damage based. Okay, so Orzov. Okay, so we have incubation. So we can Zagana. Probably just Zagana draw a card. Gum up the ground. Oop, Terramander. can also adapt the Zagana next turn. So attack in, threaten. Wow. Or just get blown out by Kaya's Wrath. Why does a creature's deck have Kaya's Wrath? They got the flyers. Well, that was something I didn't think we'd have to play around. The old curve of Cruel Celebrant ministering into Kaya's Wrath. that all right oh we're dead here obviously it's unusual we'll run it back to play around a single Kaya's wrath in a creature deck So far this format's felt pretty swingy. Like if you draw your like your rare cards, then maybe, but Okay, so you cost three. We got familiar at least. We'll try this out. We're on the draw. We have a growth spiral to help us find the next land. Cool. Coming in as a 3-3. Three, three. I'm probably just going to Growth Spiral this turn. Want to get to Chillbringer so I can tap down, then create a copy, and then have it tap down. Copies at sorcery speed. the island here um, so we can double adapt incubation make it really big so let's see so this costs three to adapt and then it makes three mana so we can also play chillbringer Gonna probably take the five damage this turn. Okay, 
Oh. That is large. So you cost two less. And we'll just pass turn. Probably gonna block this turn. I don't have really much more to adapt, and I'm at six mana. This can pump itself. I want to avoid a pump effect that will kill it. We played this match earlier. Yeah, they have Colossus. So that's seven damage coming through. Okay, so they do have applied Biomancy. Keep the frenzied Aranx. This thing's a bomb in limited. Collision. So we can bounce it to our hand. That's awkward. I think we're dead regardless. All right, one more. Not done well in this format. Uh, let's go. Let's grind him out with some Demir. Actually, let's do it ourselves. Play me some Aristocrats. a little high but we'll try it out they can adapt it here so the simic deck pretty good interaction there They make something really big, that's a good way to gain a bunch of life. Would like some lines though. So no attacks. Other than, or sorry, only attacks in the air. With Vigilance, we could poke in at our opponent. Uh, no attacks. I think we just do this. This gives us a flyer to at least block the merfolk. I'm very surprised that they sacked this. They could have adapted it. Uh, we're lined away from blowing out our opponent. Same way that we got blown out. Into spark. No attacks. I don't really want to use this for the cycle effect. Sunblade Angel is very powerful if it can come down in time. Six mana available for the opponent. 
with the Geyer engineer. So we'll adapt that next turn. Um, so I'm gonna pass the turn here. When they go to adapt this, I'm gonna dispark it in response. So that way we tax them out of their mana for the turn. I like when the adapts on the stack. So they get no effect here. Because what they would have been able to do is basically proliferate each turn. And then tap down something every turn. Um, just go Orzhov Enforcer. We got Death Touch. Kaya's Wrath does mean we le get three tokens behind. I'm probably just gonna fire this off next turn if we don't draw a land. Force them to play something out. This might be applied biomancy. Cycle their card. Jeez. Just pass the turn. Just gonna exile something from their graveyard. This doesn't really do much. Through three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or twenty-four cards, or fourteen cards. Fourteen cards, three lines. They do have the ability to proliferate here. Still proliferate, they do have the mana for. It's fine, they're spending a lot of resources here. Just need to hit this Wrath. Actually, they have Pateramander. I probably should have gone after a spell, but at the amount of mana they have for a one of. Jeez. And of course, draw the wrong color. Can't cast the Wrath. To the battlefield. I 
We can get that back. So we can get back the Plague Crafter. Let's just do that. Gives us the most bodies. We'll sack the Ministrant. Play out the pontiff. Our life's still at 17, which is pretty high, considering we've kind of been on the back foot mana wise. Block like this. It's some pretty on ominous music they have. Uh, they got the crab. Just gonna tap it down. Attack us for seven nine. How does this have? Oh, they played this last turn. White source, white source one time. Uh, of course. They tap this down. They proliferate. We're dead. Well, sometimes you draw a bunch of cards that aren't your basic uh, uh, planes. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up. Played a few games here. Results weren't the best, but kind of demo the decks themselves and the, the format. I think for a couple games here and there, it's fun, but the swinginess of it isn't something I'm super interested in. Anyways, thanks for those who tuned in live. Appreciate the support. And if you missed that any part, you can catch the... A replay either here on Twitch or on my YouTube channel, mtg underscore Joe. Thanks for watching and have a great one.